Hi guys, it's me Andrea. Today I will show you here on a work on this wooden panel actually. What I wanted to do a long long time is, no since we live here of course, um, nameplate for the door you know. It should show that an artist is living here. So these are this craft form little bits I fiddle out out this this uh, lettuce. I got craft form lettuce and they have this bits in there um, after the cuts it was left in there and I use it and I will um, cover here one side of this panel a bit curvy. It took quite a while to glue that down. I used that regular medium from Golden to use it up because I don't like to use it. I still have a lot of stuff and um, I Put them down randomly. I have different sizes or had different sizes and I didn't mind. So and then I put a good coat of gesso on top over the whole wood panel and at the end I will go over with this heavy gesso over this bit because they weren't covered. I didn't want the color show through just in case. But you will be surprised at the end. I can tell you, I was. <laughs> I was so surprised, but it was a good surprise. So, um, this is acrylic binder. I wanted to make sure that everything is sealed because that thing hangs outside at the wall next to the door. It is covered on the patio, you know, but it's, it gets damp and so better and the sun is shining of course on it so it shouldn't bleach and so everything I want to have protected. So this is from Amsterdam the greenish blue acrylic paint. I put it on through all these little gaps and I didn't want to have the paint sit in the gaps so I, it was quite a bit of work to get all the gaps covered but not with these big blobs of paint in it. I use here a smaller one to go into the gaps and I go over half of this this panel because I want the right half covered in rust but I have to finish the left side first and what I do next is I will use this cracker paste that's from uh, Viva Decor in white that's why I use this very strong very bright color for the background that it shows through the crackles and I put a really fairly thick bit on that bits this craft form bits and um, on that flatter bit it's a bit thinner but I want to have visible clearly visible crackles and then you should cover it with a good coat. You can have a thinner coat but then the crackles are definitely very very fine and I wanted to have them very visible. So what I do now is I protect the edges that nothing can pour off or run down because I will put pouring medium over the crackles. Here I use this bendable painter's tape, yeah, I think bendable painter's tape, you can call it flexible painter's tape, whatever. So, and what I do now is uh, using this pouring medium from Liquitex and put it all over that area. Of course you can, or it is meant for, or not meant actually, but you can use it with uh, mixing it with acrylics, with uh, best of course to use with liquid acrylics or more liquid acrylics but I wanted to have a um, protection coat on that and I thought that might be a good way with this pouring medium and I wanted to get to know it much better so it took of course an awful long while to dry and it, this in this stage it wasn't dry at all because you can you can hardly see the crackles so that means the pouring medium clears dries completely clear so and at this this stage in the background it was still very wet but it was dry enough for me to put the tapes off and now I will start with my iron stuff this is this 
base you have to put down the first layer should be very thin it's like a preparation you know like you put gesso on a canvas a very thin um, layer of this iron ground and it doesn't need to dry long five minutes let it dry five minutes you can feel it when it gets sticky then um, you can put the thick coat on that's this iron ground actually it's it's iron powder mixed into a medium and that's all the magic happens when you put the this um, oxidation solution oxidation liquid on and this needs now to dry for a couple of hours I put that outside in this, into the, the warmth and the sun because it's really hot or well, it was really it's still hot but when I did that it was really hot so that's always nice you get uh, the sun for free to dry your stuff so and this is of course our name what I was missing was an N I didn't have an N in that alphabet letter thing and I had a thinner one and I wanted to have it in the equal um, in the equal thickness so I put some crafting paper behind some layers and now I cut it to size and it will have the same height so that's what you can do little trick and of course exact knife cut everything out before I go on <clears throat> with gesso in everything <coughs> sorry excuse me <clears throat> uh, yeah okay <clears throat> so I'm basically looking for the place where to put it that won't be the final place definitely believe me so you can already see now behind or under this pouring medium medium that this craft form things changed the colors and I loved it so much it's now light blue and light pink and I don't know why <laughs> and I'll try to pick this color up for the lettuce you can see me a mix in it I use the red violet and mix white acrylic paint into it and I got it quite good it matched with that um, bits under the pouring medium are quite good you will see photos at the end a bit more white and then that's the color I will go over a second time of course I'll give it a second coat but yeah I don't want to show that and now fuzzing around where to put it where to arrange it or how to arrange it it's always the same you know that that wasn't bad but I think that was better. I like that most and I will leave it in that way. No, 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 definitely no, definitely no, no way. That's great. So what I do here, I use my Liquid Liquitex Gloss Medium. It's a varnish as well and I go over the lettuce. I went over the open bits on that um, wood panel as well to make sure that nothing will start to get wet, damp and softened, you know, the, the, the wood will get soft and, and what will it do, it will soak up the dampness, yeah. So I glue the lettuce down, it's done, I didn't show you the process of putting the oxidation solution on that rust, because I've done that outside, it is not really good thing to do that inside even if you ventilate the room it stinks so that's why I did, did it outside but you didn't miss a thing it's simply brush it on so but you can see the rust already reacted and gets um, darker and darker or more in this rusty rusty bit it, it rusts the iron rusts so and these are the bits I was a bit impatient with with the sticky tape I will go later off camera over it with the white crackles again so here you can see this uh, the colors they changed the colors this crafty 
craft form bits. It's so funny, but I'm, I really like it. I was absolutely surprised about it. I didn't expect it, so but I like it. It's really nice. So it's still not completely dry. You will see the pictures at the end, and that's dry then, so you can see all the crackles coming through. But that's it. So I hope you like it on my rust. I love rust so much. Um, I hope you like it. I had a lot of fun making it, and uh, it's hanging now at the door outside, and I love it. So guys, thanks a lot for watching. Give me the thumbs up if you like it, and you can share it if you like it. And uh, I will see you with my next project. So have a fantastic time, guys. Bye-bye.